What is going on guys, Sweet Gaming here and welcome back to No Man's Sky Next Planet Series. This is the third planet episode in the series and man this planet is a great addition to my collection. This planet is a low atmosphere planet and in 1.3 Atlas Rises and earlier that meant kind of no flora or fauna and just a dead desert or barren rock, something like that to each of those planets with that description. This planet is low atmosphere, yes, but abundant in flora and has high fauna readings on my scanner, which is awesome. The sky is clear with very rare storms and the sentinels are basically non-existent, <laughs> very minimal. And uh, this planet also has a very interesting color to it. I have seen some other No Man's Sky players call these uh, features odd, or honestly these pl uh, planets odd. It is very odd indeed, yes, but what I have heard from other players is that they actually call planets like this odd planets. If I'm wrong, let me know uh, down in the comment section if you guys are calling them something different now, but it looks like a red filter is overlaying the planet and the grass is either red or colorless, or I guess gray is a better way to put it. The water is still a very pretty vibrant blue, which is really nice, and the biomes and trees are really uh, tall, and the biomes honestly look like something from a scorching planet or something like that, so it's kind of nice having it on a planet like this. I love the tree type as well, and this is not a paradise planet by any means, but it honestly feels like one. I love that about No Man's Sky right now. You can have a paradise planet with painfully hot rain every 10 minutes, or a dead planet that doesn't feel empty or deserted, which is very different. It's actually quite peaceful and enjoyable here. You have to actually spend time on a planet now to kind of see how it all behaves. The temperature reads 101.5 degrees and when a storm does actually form, the temperature increases to 230 plus degrees. And I'm reading in Fahrenheit, guys. I haven't explored on this planet as much as I would honestly like to, for I have been base building quite a bit and deciding to go explore to take a break is something I just do every once in a while. So I landed on this planet and pretty much just put a base computer down and went back to my previous build. I have around four builds that I'm working on, two of them are almost complete, and I can't wait to show you all what I'm working on. I am finding my build limit for this game for the limit is actually kind of overestimated in line with the way the frame rate works in this game, so there's a lot of issues like that, but so you can keep building more items and structures, but getting around your base is quite taxing at such a low frame rate, and I just don't like that. So I'm making some minor adjustments here and there, and then uh, I will show you guys what I'm working on. If you haven't seen it yet, I have completed my cliff base though, called Red Cliff View. It's really cool. Feel free to check it out. I'm very proud of uh, that build. Once I find the right planet, my next two builds I want to do next is underwater base and a cave base. But anyways guys, what do you think of this planet, and how are you enjoying this series? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and make sure to subscribe for more No Man's Sky content and more planets like these. I'm going to be posting all of the planets I find interesting and memorable, and so I'm going to keep doing that. Base building is super fun also, so I'll be doing a lot of builds in normal mode, and it does take time to uh, gather all the resources and stuff like that, so many, many resources, guys. So some of the planets I land on you may see in the future video as well with a base somewhere on it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please drop a like if you did, and I will see you on the next one.